Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Harris. I am a costume designer of film and television. Uh, we're going to organize our classes today, ladies, and we're going to talk about the shoot incident. Come with me. the shoe incident. Well, I would say, ladies, when you were trying to get organized, um, I was looking for a pair of shoes to wear to an event that I had to go to, and box after box after box after box, I finally found the shoe that I needed. And in the process of that, I found two pairs of shoes that I hadn't even worn, that still had the price tag on them, that had the box all about outside and out of mind. And that's when the picture takes you Hi everyone, we are back with TV and film costume designer Michelle Harris. She's going to give us some tips on how to organize the accessories. I know, at least for me, I've got loads of purses, scarves, bags, everything, and you never know what to do with them, so you end up stuffing them in a corner and then they get crushed. Alright, Michelle, tell us about the shoe incident. The shoe incident. Well, I would say, ladies, when you were trying to get organized, um, I was looking for a pair of shoes to wear to an event that I had to go to, and box after box after box after box, after box I finally found the shoe that I needed. And in the process of that, I found two pairs of shoes that I hadn't even worn, that still had the price tag on them, that had the box all about outside and out of mind. I think that we all get to the point where we look at our closets from like this half the stuff, you know, stop the insanity. So I think it's amazing. She is going to show us what she does from a pro straight to you. We'll be seeing you later, boot campers. Hi, welcome to Pin Up Boot Camp. I'm Nikki Nazarius, and I'm here with my dear friend who is a set costume designer for TV and film, Michelle Harris. Hello. Now, Michelle, what are we going to be doing here today? We are going to organize our shoes today. How many times have you gone through boxes and boxes and you can't find the pair of shoes that you want with the outfit? Or, guess what? Mm -hmm. You find two pairs of shoes that you bought and you've never even worn. So, I decided to take pictures. You take pictures of your shoes, and that way you will never lose a pair, and you will always know what shoe goes with what outfit. That is brilliant. So basically, you just take a photo of your shoes, print it out, and you can either use the shoe box that it comes from, or you can get a clear plastic shoe box like these. I absolutely container love it. Container store. The container, container store. Fabulous. Wonderful. Right. Girls. Take care of your shoes. This is the number one. You storing. You buy a pair of shoes. You take it to the shoe man, and you have you put dance rubber on the bottom of your shoe. Dance rubber. Always get your tips done. This shoe is five years old. Wow, it looks brand new. Yeah. Well, wonderful. And I see that you're storing them in and shoe boxes. Bag. In shoe and bags. Bag. Yeah. In the boxes. Yes. Yeah. That is a really, really good idea. That way, whenever you want to travel with your shoes, you already have the shoe bag right there ready to go. And you can never find them anyway. She's going to save the day. Michelle, please teach us how to do this. Okay. Well, here we go. Um, you have to put hooks and lay them out. Oh, this is brilliant. So um, you're using the back wall of your closet here. Yes. Wow. And I just sort of brush stuff over and made sort of a wall here. Right. Ladies, you want to keep you want to keep the shape of the purse. So what you want to do is stuff them with oh, wow. bags or recycled material, junk mail, whatever, so they keep their shape that's because really they collapse right. on each other. Um, yeah, so you, that's one of the good things you want to do. I like that it's displayed so that you can pretty much see what you have. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Out of sight is out of mind, girl. Okay. So if you can't see it, you're not going to wear it, and you probably should get rid of it. Sure. Um, and for headband girls, this is just something that I picked up at a thrift store, and I just covered it with with uh, fabric, oh, and wow. to keep all of my 
beautiful little headband that I have. This, can I say this, please? This is amazing, especially for my burlesque girls. You know the ones you've got the plumage, the feathers, the crazy over-the-top head pieces. This is brilliant. Nothing is getting squashed or crushed or anything. And you can see what you have, and it's beautifully displayed. I absolutely love this idea. And you, this, this is like a little pillow. Yeah, it's a pillow. Yeah, it's just a pillow. Brilliant. Thrift store. 50 Thrift cents. Store. Now, we are going to be back because she is not done yet, ladies. She's got some more tips and tricks from a pro just Joy. for you. Now, for those of us who are wondering how do we organize our closet and our clothes, Michelle Harris has some great techniques and tips from a professional TV and film costume designer. Michelle, how would you organize your closet? Do it by occasion. Where are you going, ladies? Are you going out? Are you going dancing? Are you going to work? Are you making dinner for your man? So, that's how I break it down. We've got pants. We've got going out pants party section right here. Um, break it down into fabrics. You want to keep all your shears together. Um, we want to make that. sure that we have our fur in tow. And some scary, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you just, and this is summer. These are all tall toe top dresses, so you want to keep everything together. So we had the party and dresses, party. and now like the daytime and then summer dresses. Oh, right. Okay. And That's then good. work shirts. Fabulous. So basically, whenever you are going out, whenever you're getting dressed for the day, and you pretty much know what you're going to be doing, you know exactly what side of the closet to look in first. I absolutely love that. Right. Thanks again. All right, we are back with Michelle Harris. Hello. Uh, she does costuming for film and TV. We're really excited about having her here. She's going to be teaching us today about organizing our man's closet. Some of us have boyfriends, partners, husbands, etc. Maybe they're not the neatest. That's okay. We can't expect them to be perfect. Not all of us can be amazing. So she is going to show you how she gets it together for her man. And we can do it, ladies. Okay. As before, I said about organizing your closet section by section for what it is you're going to do. Your man is no different. So, okay, if he's going to work, we've got work shirts, and then you put your hoodies together. Does your man play golf? Mine does. Golf shirts. That's brilliant. Sweaters for cold weather. And then we go into, we just had a fight and you need to take me to a very expensive dinner. <laughs> we have his dress shirt and his suits and then his outer coat. I love this. This is wonderful. Now, basically, this kind of also helps your guy take the guesswork. Um, a lot of, of our boyfriends have this inclination of just picking up whatever is on the floor that day. But this kind of helps them um, look their best. You can organize his closet the way yours is and makes it easier for yourself and everybody's on time when we're not late for the party. This is also a really great tip for those ladies who are sharing your closet with your particular partner. If you'd like to, you can incorporate the same type of tips, just put your clothes together based on occasion. That way you're both looking at the same section of the closet, you're not fighting for space and everyone knows where everything goes. Thank you so much, Michelle, for teaching me everything. Thank you, Nikki. We're going to be back. We have one more segment. She is going to show us her shiny things. All right, we are back with our final segment here of organizing your closet and your accessories. Michelle Harris is a costume designer for TV and film, and she is going to show us how she organizes her shinies. Um, we're talking at jewelry storage here. Now, Michelle, show us how you organize your jewelry. All right, well, just like I said about the shoes, lady, out of sight is out of mind. If you do not display it, you're not going to see it, and you're not going to wear it. So, invest a little bit. I don't care if you have to save up. You can go to Costco. You can go to Walmart. These jewelry boxes are in, they're not expensive, and you can store your jewelry beautifully so you can see what you have. I love this. Yeah. And it opens up, and we have drawers. Oh, yeah. wonderful. See, I need this. Keep your 
I'm very, um... To keep all of your shiny things. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Everything's so organized. Yeah. So. And they will last forever. There's another little bobble drill over here. Um, like I said, I like to keep things in sets. So down here are just all sets that come with earrings or a necklace or a necklace and earrings. See, anyway. that's smart. So you keep your sets together. together. Mm -hmm. Right. As I do in my closet also, too. Sets always go together. Always sit together. Now, that's really important. Um, for example, I'll have where I put all of my rings together and then all of my necklaces together. But if I have sets, I split the set and I put all my rings together and all my necklaces together. So I have to kind of sort of look into places to find Which the set. you shouldn't. Yeah. And that's going to take time away and you're going to be late for the party. Yeah, I like that. That's brilliant. Very efficient and very gorgeous. Um, Thank you so wow, much. You're welcome. Thank you, Nikki. It was fun. Amazing. I hope you guys uh, get organized and uh, don't be late for the party. We'll see you. See you later. Hi, Bye. I'm Michelle Harris, and thank you for taking this lovely journey with me through organizing closets and organizing your man's closets and shiny things. Um, we're going to wrap up with um, print sharing. When you're cleaning out your closet and you're, well, what should I do with this stuff? Should I give it to the will or should I just throw it out? Or um, You should donate them to your friends. Um, I have a friend sharing story to tell you guys about uh, recycling your clothes, recycling your shoes. Um, I have a girlfriend in Colorado and uh, she it doesn't have sidewalks anymore and she lives in the mountains so she gave up her high heels which she lovely donated to <laughs> um, these shoes I actually asked her if I could buy and she said no first try uh, and then a week later they showed up in a box with these gorgeous ladies um, and she said, thank you so much for being my friend, and here are the shoes that you wanted. And, uh, yeah, so share with your friends, ladies. You know, you know just think about what, what you know your girlfriends when they have an eye on something and you don't want that anymore. Give it to them. Hey, this is Michelle Harrison. Thanks for doing boot camp with us.